So the next option in here is bevel. If we press Q and then go to bevel, this does exactly what you would think it would do. It applies a bevel. Now there are a few things worth mentioning, the difference between a hops bevel and a vanilla bevel. Let me demonstrate hops bevel first and to show you what it's doing. So in hops, you're going to see at the, at the menu on the bottom, we have a three segment bevel by default. Uh, the profile is set to 0.7 by default, which you can adjust. The limit method is set to angle by default, and the angle of the bevel is set to 30 degrees by default. So in Vanilla Blender, you'd have to go to the bevel modifier, change the limit method to angle, increase the segment count to 3, like so. And what else would there be? Um, clamp overlaps also turned off in hard ops bevel because clamp overlap just tends to give us too many problems uh, rather than actually solving them, which it's meant to do. Also, hard ops bevel makes the outer miter type set to an arc, so that way the corners don't get pinched when you run a bevel. Let me just drop off this modifier and run a cut and then run a hops bevel. Okay, I think it was just too high and the overlap was hitting. Anyways, this is the outer miter type. So at every corner like this, you have three different uh, miter types. You have a patch, which generally looks pretty awful if we go into wireframe. I never use patch. We have sharp, which kind of has this pinched corner, and we have arc, which is always the cleanest transition between the two. I use arc pretty much all the time. So in hard ops bevel, that's also turned on by default, whereas in, you know, um, vanilla bevel, that does not do that. So yeah, that's just the difference. You have to tick on so many settings in here. You have to go in, change the limit method, uh, change to arc. If you want to harden the normals, you have to turn that on. It's really a pain. But in hard ops, it's just one click. You just go in here and you have your bevel in. So all that is set for you by default. And if you ever want to change the settings, you can do that really easily. The first and easiest way is to just lock in the bevel and adjust it over here in the stack so you have all the settings. Or what you can do is press the H key to open up the help menu. And there's a ton of different options that you can click. I only use probably like 10 to 20% of these. Uh, N to harden the normals is one of the ones I use a lot. Z to turn on wireframe. Sometimes I like to see wireframe. And all the other ones I don't really touch too much. You can, you know, look through the list and observe what the different settings are, but uh, most of the time you don't have to mess with most of those. They're really just there for your convenience. Now if you want to change the limit method, you can actually press the L key to swap between weight, vertex group, and absolutely no limit method, but most of the time we either stay on angle or on bevel weight. Uh, and if you want to scroll up the segment count, you just scroll up on the scroll wheel or scroll down on the scroll wheel. And that's really all you have to do to add in a bevel and hard ops. It's super easy.